The story of Noah's Ark has captivated humanity for centuries. It's a tale of divine wrath, human resilience, and ultimately, salvation. For some, it's a literal historical event, a testament to the power of faith. For others, it's a symbolic narrative, rich in moral and spiritual lessons. Could the Ark, a vessel said to have housed Noah, his family, and a menagerie of animals, actually exist? This question has driven countless expeditions to Mount Ararat in eastern Turkey. The search for Noah's Ark is a testament to the enduring power of this ancient story. It's a search for answers, for a connection to our past, and perhaps for a glimmer of hope for the future. Towering above the Armenian highlands, Mount Ararat stands as a silent sentinel, its snow-capped peaks piercing the clouds. This dormant volcano, the highest peak in Turkey, has long been shrouded in mystery and legend. The Book of Genesis tells us that the Ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat after the Great Flood receded. Mount Ararat, with its imposing presence and historical significance, has become synonymous with the Ark's final destination. Over the centuries, Mount Ararat has beckoned explorers, archaeologists and adventurers, all drawn to its slopes by the allure of the Ark. Despite the challenges, the quest to uncover the Ark's secrets continues. Each expedition, each discovery, brings us closer to unravelling the truth behind the legend. In recent decades, Mount Ararat has yielded some intriguing clues that have reignited the debate about the Ark's existence. Several expeditions have reported findings that suggest the presence of a large, ancient wooden structure embedded in the mountain's glacial ice. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence comes from a 1959 aerial photograph taken by a Turkish army captain. The image revealed a peculiar boat-shaped formation on the northeastern slope of Mount Ararat at an altitude of approximately 15,300 feet. Subsequent expeditions, including ground-penetrating radar surveys and analyses of wood fragments retrieved from the site, have yielded intriguing results. While these findings are not conclusive, they provide tantalizing hints that something extraordinary might be hidden beneath the ice and rock of Mount Ararat. The Bible provides a surprisingly detailed account of the Ark's construction. According to the book of Genesis, God instructed Noah to build a vessel 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high, using gopher wood and waterproofing it with pitch. Intriguingly, some of the recent discoveries on Mount Ararat seem to align with these biblical descriptions. The dimensions of the Ararat anomaly roughly correspond to the Ark's proportions as outlined in Genesis. The internal structure detected by ground-penetrating radar with its compartments and beam-like structures hints at a sophisticated design capable of housing a vast array of animals. Furthermore, the analysis of wood fragments recovered from the site has revealed the presence of pitch, a natural waterproofing agent further supporting the biblical account. The possibility that these discoveries might be connected to the legendary Ark is a tantalizing prospect that continues to fuel research and exploration. The story of a great flood that devastates the earth is not unique to the Bible. Flood narratives appear in the mythologies and religious texts of cultures around the world, from ancient Mesopotamia to the Americas. These stories, while differing in details, share striking similarities, suggesting a common origin or a shared human experience. In many of these flood myths, the flood is seen as a divine judgment upon a sinful and corrupt humanity. A chosen individual or family is warned of the impending disaster and instructed to build a vessel to survive the deluge and repopulate the earth. The universality of the flood narrative raises intriguing questions about its origins and its significance in human history. Regardless of their origins, flood myths serve as powerful reminders of the importance of living in harmony with nature, respecting the divine, and upholding moral and ethical values. Beyond its historical and archaeological implications, the story of Noah's Ark holds profound symbolic meaning. The Ark itself has become a powerful and enduring symbol of faith, obedience and salvation, representing the hope of survival and renewal in the face of overwhelming challenges. Noah's unwavering faith in God's promise, even when faced with ridicule and disbelief, is a testament to the power of belief. 
his obedience to God's instructions, building the ark according to the divine blueprint, highlights the importance of trusting in a higher power. The ark, as a vessel of salvation, represents a safe haven from the storms of life. It symbolizes the hope of emerging from trials and tribulations stronger and more resilient. The story of Noah's ark offers a message of hope and redemption. The search for Noah's ark has sparked heated debates between those who interpret the evidence through a scientific lens and those who view it through the prism of faith. Scientists often approach the claims of the Ark's discovery with skepticism, demanding rigorous evidence and adhering to the principles of geological and archaeological research. They point out that the harsh conditions on Mount Ararat make it unlikely that a wooden structure could have survived for thousands of years. They argue that the Ararat anomaly and other purported evidence could be explained by natural geological formations or the remains of other ancient structures. Believers, on the other hand, often interpret the evidence through the lens of faith, seeing the hand of God in the discoveries. This tension between scientific skepticism and faith-based interpretations is at the heart of the debate surrounding Noah's Ark. The search for the Ark becomes a microcosm of the broader debate between science and religion. Regardless of whether or not definitive proof of the Ark's existence is ever found, the story of Noah's Ark continues to inspire and captivate people around the world. For many, the story represents the triumph of faith over adversity, the power of hope in the face of despair and the enduring human spirit. The image of the Ark, weathering the storm and emerging from the floodwaters, serves as a powerful metaphor for overcoming life's challenges. It reminds us that even in the darkest of times, when we feel overwhelmed by adversity, there is always hope. The story of Noah's Ark also highlights the importance of compassion, stewardship, and the preservation of life. This message of environmental responsibility and the interconnectedness of all life resonates deeply in today's world. The story of Noah's Ark, passed down through generations, continues to shape our understanding of history, faith and humanity's place in the world. Whether viewed as a literal historical event or a symbolic narrative, the Ark's enduring legacy lies in its ability to inspire, challenge and unite people from all walks of life. The search for the Ark reflects our innate human curiosity, our thirst for knowledge and our longing to connect with our past. The discoveries on Mount Ararat have reignited the debate and pushed us to re-examine our understanding of history, faith and the limits of human knowledge. The story of Noah's Ark reminds us that we are all part of something larger than ourselves, connected by a shared history and a common destiny. It teaches us the importance of faith, obedience, compassion and the preservation of life. The Ark's story forever etched in our collective consciousness, will continue to inspire, challenge and unite us as we navigate the complexities of the 21st century and beyond.